And Wilson Mushora is our sign language interpreter tonight. The Ministry of Education has formed a 12-member team to investigate claims of assault at the Nairobi School. That is after the plight of a Form 2 students was highlighted last night, more accounts have been shared, adding more weight to claims about bullying. But is bullying by prefects and senior students a symptom of a collapsing value system in our schools? Dr. Swangira with the details. An inquiry into allegations of assault at the Nairobi school has started after Citizen TV report that pieced together the account of a 15-year-old student who is undergoing treatment. He claimed to have been assaulted by prefix leading to injuries. The Ministry of Education's 12-member team's findings will be crucial and the outcome of great public interest. But cases of bullying by prefects and senior students in public and private schools are not new. The conversation in social circles has many and detailed victims' accounts. On the 3rd of March 2017, six prefects from the Alliance High School were charged with assault in a Kikuyu court, accused of brutally bullying fellow students. But a lot of bullying in other schools has been underreported. A damning report by the TSC over the bullying saga put the prestigious national school under the spotlight revealing that students were living in fear, forced to lie on graves regularly and to crawl on grass, as well as being subjected to torture. Amos Kaburu, an education analyst, believes the problem is systemic and can be traced back to the colonial era, which made prefects the eyes and the ears, as well as the extension of the school administration. When we went through school, there was a lot of corporal punishment, and therefore it was known that uh, discipline would be enforced through particular mechanisms. With the banning of corporal punishment in 1997, and with the very limited options of what schools would uh, use in terms of behavior enforcement and what they wanted, it means that schools have been left at a very difficult situation. But over the years, prefect power has become absolute, giving them more authority over other students, in some schools more than teachers. This system in itself fails to serve. Because in a situation where you have a dysfunctional school system, then in most cases the prefects will end up perpetuating the same. He maintains, however, that even though the role they play is critical, they have no capacity to enforce behavior as adult teachers over their peers. The Ministry of Education says there should be a zero-tolerance policy to bullying, and experts say that the prefect's role and direct authority to punish students should be critically examined. If a prefect system does not support a culture that will respond to the needs of these students, then in most cases what you end up having is garbage in, garbage out. Dr. Swangira, Citizen TV, Nairobi.